My name is Dewey Finn from the Musical School of Rock. And since there's currently no school, yes, and you're learning from home, I'm going to be your teacher. So you can call me Mr. Schneebly. But we're not going to bother with none of those boring subjects. No, 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 no. We are going to stick it to the man, learn some rock instruments, so that you can be in the band. Yeah. So, if you want to learn how to shred the guitar like Hendrix, be the backbone of the band and play the drums like a pro, slap the bass with your bass face on, or be the king of the keyboards, then this is the school for you. Now, I am totally awesome on like all these instruments and could teach you super easy, but to save me a little time, I roped in some dudes to give me a hand, show you how to play. Now, are they as cool as me? <laughs> no, 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 no. But if you follow their instructions, you will go from beginner to pro in no time. Remember, music speaks to you. That is what matters most. This one's for all you John Bonham wannabes. You heard of him, right? No? Dave Grohl? Keith Moon? Neil Peart? Oh, what? We have got a lot of work to do. This one's for all you drummers. You ready to rock? We're gonna look at the song Stick It To The Man from School Of Rock, written by the Lord himself, Andrew Lloyd Webber. Okay, so we're gonna start with a clip that tells you a little bit about the groove of the song. Some of the beats and rhythms that you're gonna need to learn so that you can stick it to the man. So, grab your sticks, give one a spin, and let's get ready to worship at the altar of rock. So, this song is in a time signature of 12-8, which means that it still has four strong beats, but each beat is split up into three subdivisions. And we've kind of got this feel. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three, one, two, three, two, 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 three, two, two, four, two, three. Up to speed, it'd be one, two, three, four. That's the kind of the, the feel of that 12-8. But what we're doing is we're slightly subtracting, so we're not gonna play. That sounds a bit like a war drum. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the one and three of each beat. So one. It still has that kind of doodle-la, 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 doodle-la feel, but it's slightly more cool. So the main groove for this whole song is actually based on this floor top and it's going to feature that exact rhythm. Okay, now on the snare and the hi-hat I want us to add the back beat. Okay, so that would be two and four. Uh, and what we're going to do with the hi-hat, we're just going to let our foot do the work. So we're going to go a whole beat together would be one, two, three, four. watch with this low tom that this doesn't become too kind of like then it sounds a bit like a train going past what we'll do is think loud soft loud soft loud soft loud soft great so now adding to that beat because that is pretty much the beat for the whole song but we want to make it slightly more kind of interesting so we're going to add a few little tom bits and bobs the first one I'd like to add is a sort of a quick tom, which is leading into beat one. Okay, I'll play that for you. One, two, three, four. So all that is, I'm going, but nice and quick. So. Right, left, right. Okay, so that's one nice idea, but again, we don't want to use that all the time because it will get a bit boring. So let's add something else as well. So that's a sort of, kind of a slightly more uh, laid back triplet fill. between 
from those two ideas to sort of create some variety. And maybe sometimes we might even not want to fill at all, just to kind of make a little bit more interest. So snare we could maybe add a, a few sort of ghost notes uh, if, you if you've never heard of ghost notes before it's basically kind of letting the stick sort of drop and it's all those little sounds you hear in between the back sounds so it's like practicing your snare rolls That does it just adds even more feel to this already quite cool and cooking group. There's one more tom idea that we could add, and we could just get this tom involved as well. So what I want you to do with your practice is to use combinations of all those fills and find the best places in this song to use them. After a while it will just feel natural and you'll be able to throw in all these little nice fills and you'll maybe even be able to come up with some of your own. Remember to practice with a metronome, it's so important and it's such a great tool to get all of this amazing detail down and locked in. Hey, you are sounding awesome! Okay, if you think you've got the groove, it's time to move on to the intro for the song. Now, you start this whole thing off. Just because you're stuck at the back does not mean you're not important. Okay, count us in, here we go. Okay, let's look at the opening of this song. Now, we've got the awesome task of starting off this whole tune. And what we're gonna get is four clicks on the metronome in. One, two, three. And on that fourth metronome, we're gonna hit snare, kick and cymbal right on the four. No upbeat, just literally Okay? So one, two, three Okay, and then we're in to the main beat. So let's try that again. One, two, three Bars of groove. So we've got one, two, three, ba, bang, da, ka, do, go, 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 da, ka, da. Now when we get to here, here on the guitars and the whole band, we've all got this same pattern, which is the da, 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 da. So what we're going to do is we're going to accent all of those da, da, with our snare and cymbals, and the kick is going to hit the first one as well. So it's going to sound like this. One, two, three. And then we're into the main groove, okay? So I'm, if I slow that down, one, two, three. actually just going four on the floor. And I'm getting my right hand back to that low tom as quick as possible. Let's see how that sounds in context. How you doing? You got it? You ready to move on to the verse and chorus? Don't worry if not, keep working on those rhythms in the intro, you got this. But if you think you're ready, why don't we turn it up a notch and rock the verse and chorus? Let's make some noise. So for the first verse, all we're doing is continuing that amazing groove that we've worked on already and we're occasionally hitting some of the steps. So let's have a little playthrough. So, for the first verse when the vocals come in. One, two, 
adding in a few little snare fills just to get us into the next section um, and I really don't mind what you play there. Well, I did something like but you could do maybe a so I'm again that's a nice little fill to practice and that's one that you can practice with a metronome really slow and build it up all those nice little fills will help just get us into the next section. But again, I want you to have some choice in what you do. So if you can find something that you like more, you do it. So for after that first verse section, we're going into the sort of chorus, which is the da 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 And in this section, we've got no stabs apart from right at the end. Okay, so we're just laying it down. Occasionally we want to hit a symbol on one to signify that we're in a new section or just to sort of build up the energy. And again, I want to leave that to your choice. You can have a lot of fun with this song. As long as you stick to the main groove and the heart, you can add your own little fills and really make it your own. One, two, three, four, verse. Yes, dude, you're sounding great. Okay, you have a choice now. You may need to go back and do some more work on the intro, verse, and chorus. So, if you're playing a little loosey-goosey, you need to tighten up those hinges, then rewind, go back, take another look at the video. Just keep on working. Remember, it may take a little time, but soon you'll be jamming with the best of them. If you've got those sections down, then it's time to move on to the solo section. This is my favorite bit, because we get to show everyone how freaking awesome we are. Now, there are some immense guitar, bass, drums, keyboard solos in this section. You are the fourth solo. We saved the best to last, so be patient, okay? Now, I could totally show you how to, like, seriously rock this next section, but I'm about to watch Star Wars Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. So, while I'm doing that, you take a look at the next clip, which is going to show you how to break down the solo section to stick it to the man. <laughs> so after that chorus, we go into the solo section, which starts off with a guitar solo, then it goes into a keyboard solo, and then it goes to a bass solo, and then it's our solo, but we'll get to that later. So, for the guitar and the keyboard solo, we're just grooving away, same as normal. Not getting the two in the way, because remember, it is their solos and not ours. So we want to kind of just let it, let it groove, not get too busy. But, for the bass solo, we're going to slightly change up this groove, okay? It's really not a massive change. All we're doing is we're going to change the backbeat from the snare to this high tom. And what that does, it just kind of gets us out of the way because obviously the bass is in quite a low frequency, so we really want it to come through. So I'm going to play that through. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's all I want you to do. Okay, but maybe also just take the volume down as well. Let the bass solo One, come two, through. three, four, bass. Okay, now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for. The drum solo. So, I don't want to think of this so much as a crazy sort of Neil Peart drum solo. It's more like 
a groove solo, if that makes sense. So if you imagine the audience were clapping along, we'd still want them to be clapping along. And they wouldn't be able to do that if you were doing some crazy stuff. So for the first part of the solo, all I want you to do is to play a groove, but slight, make it kind of as, not as busy as you can, but much busier than it has been before, okay? I'll give you an example. One, two, three, four. using the toms a bit more, I'm using the snare. So all I'm doing is using the rhythms of da 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 but just moving it around the, the drum kit. That's quite a nice one. Literally letting your hands just fall wherever they want in that rhythm. Okay, so that's the first part. For the second part, I want us to move on to the cymbals, okay? We're gonna play this rhythm. One, two, three, four. Okay, uh, and I again I like to use the word pineapple. Pineapple bap. Pineapple bap. Okay. And then in the gap after that, in the pineapple bap gap, I want us to put a big snare. Okay. Nice and cool. And we can also make that snare a bit of a flam, which um, if you've seen the teacher's pet video, flam is just where you drop your stick slightly before the other one to give it a sort of a really fat sound. Flat, okay? Okay, so that's going to be the first part. I'll play that nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then we're going to go back to the symbol, we're going to go... Okay. Right, left, right, left. And if you're left-handed, I'm right-handed, but if you're left-handed, you might want to stick that differently, you might want to do it the complete opposite way. Whatever feels good for you, but I do it right. I'm sticking a kick on the first triplet of each one. Let's hear that solo really nice and slow, the whole thing. One, two, three, four. Drum. Wow. The new Star Wars movies are not as good as they used to be. Needs more hands solo. Speaking of solo. I bet you are incredible. Ready for the battle of the bands you will be. Okay, ye gods of rock, you're almost there. There's only the end of the song to learn. So I'm gonna hand you back over to Sam. So after the solos, we go back to the verse and do a bit more groove. And then we get to this bit that's repeated three times, which goes da 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 and during that, we're going to basically play the groove, but we're also going to add two cymbal hits, okay? So here where they come. A one, two, three, four. Okay, and then we're back into the like, we've got uh, only a couple more bars till the end. Da 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 da. Then the whole band plays this unison figure, which is the, the main riff. Da 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 Bap. And we're going to play that too. So what I want you to do for that last bit, um, I'll just play the rhythm again. It's... Okay. We're going to play that rhythm, but around the kit. 
So we're going to start on the cymbal, we're going to go... I'm also playing the same kick as my cymbal, okay? Okay, and then we're going to slightly change the rhythm, we're going to go... Okay, so up to speed, that'd be... Okay, I'll do that nice and slow. Even slower. So that fill around the kit, I'm doing a little kind of so a little sort of stick roll. I'm kidding, it's right here. Dudes and dudesses, that was awesome. Now, I think it's time to put the whole song together. So, if you need to go back, check up on a few bits, do it. Otherwise, it is time. <laughs> now remember, if it's not perfect, who cares? Rock is not about being perfect. It's not about the rules. It's not about your grades. Rock is about sticking it to the man. And that's what we're going to do right now. So, grab your sticks. Picture yourself at Wembley or Madison Square Gardens. And let's do this. <laughs> 